Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will discuss about AC to AC converters which is also known as an AC voltage controller. Okay, what is a function of an AC voltage controller? Okay, so a function of an AC voltage controller is to convert a fixed AC voltage okay, into a variable AC output voltage okay in other words uh, it is used to regulate the current voltage and average power delivered to an ac load from an ac supply so it is actually from ac to ac okay and the output voltage can be controlled by varying the firing angle or alpha okay of the switch so this is the basic block diagram of an AC voltage controller. So as you can see here, it is from AC input to an AC output. Okay. And the varied output voltage can be used for dimming the street lights and then varying heating temperatures. And it is also used to control the speed of fans, okay, induction motors or winding machines and etc okay for a single phase ac voltage controller it contains two parallel thyristor or scr that is connected in anti parallel okay so this is this is anti parallel or inverse parallel okay so for the basic circuit we have uh, two thyristor and then a voltage source, AC voltage source and then a load. Okay, so this is V R R I R and this is V S. Okay, so this arrangement, okay, this arrangement make it possible to have a current in both direction in the load for both cycle. Okay, and there is another uh, switch named as a triac that is equivalent to this anti-parallel SCR. Okay, so this is the symbol of a triac. Okay, and the basic principle of an AC voltage controller is quite similar to that of the control half-wave rectifier which is using phase control. So what is a phase control? Okay, so a phase control is actually a switching scheme where a switching takes place during every cycle of the source okay and the main or uh, disadvantage of this controller is the presence of harmonics in supply current and low voltage waveform okay for single phase ac voltage controller okay the scrs cannot be conducted simultaneously so it means that if s1 is on s2 must be turned off and vice versa okay so how it operates okay so s1 will be conducted if a gate signal is applied to s1 during the positive half cycle of the source okay so the current will flow through s1 and then goes to the load and then return to the source and s1 will conduct until the current in it reaches zero and the AC voltage controller differs from the control half-wave rectifier when the source is in its negative half cycle. Okay, so during the negative half cycle, a gate signal must be applied to S2. Okay, so when S2 is conducting, so S2 will provide a path for a negative load current so a current will flow through like this okay and this is an input voltage waveform with an output current and voltage okay so as you can see here the current needs to wait for the gate signal to be applied to the switch so in this case it is s1 during the positive half cycle Okay, so one at once S1 is conducting, the current can flow until the current in it reach to zero. Okay, and then again during the negative half cycle, 
it need to wait for the gate signal to be applied so once it is applied to s2 the current will flow again during the negative half cycle okay so this is the output voltage waveform where the shape is same just like uh, output current okay and this is the switching voltage which has an opposite shape with the output voltage and current okay so that's it for an ac voltage controller thank you for listening bye bye